Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make lamb shanks. It's one of my favorite meals. Um, I have purchased eight lamb shanks over here, and as you can see in this pot, it, uh, I arranged them so that they're not all touching or laying on top of each other, because you can take it through a longer method, and you can heat the pot up, and you can braise it on all the different sides, and get a little color on them on the outside, sear them, so to speak and then it will help keep the moisture in there and it still makes for an amazing delicious flavor but for the purposes of time I just find it really you know time efficient to go ahead and space them out so they don't touch each other a lot so when they cook they cook very uh, evenly all around the shank and so um, if I'm having people over for dinner I gotta make a little extra shank so I got two pots over here I'm going to put my oven temperature at 220 degrees, 220 degrees Fahrenheit, and, and it's going to slow cook for quite a while. 220 is also this, the high setting of most crock pots, so if you didn't have a cast iron or an oven and you're making this somewhere else, you can take your lamb shanks, put them in a cast iron pot, and maybe add a little bit of broth or maybe a little bit of water to that. Uh, I also sprinkled some salt over here. You are very welcome to use completely other spices. Rosemary is a good spice. You can put some black pepper in there, but I just feel like my pots are so well seasoned, I just use sauce, um, salt. Um, we place them in the oven so both pots fit in here. And it's about 11.30 right now. So at 220 degrees, if you want to eat dinner at around 6.30 tonight, it's going to be ready. You just take it out. I'll see you then. Okay, it's dinner time now. It's been in the oven for about 8 hours at 220 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, if we can get a little closer look here, that is what it looks like. I put it in completely dry and it formed its own broth. Wonderful, the fat is rendered and the shanks are ready to eat full of the bone. When I do shop, I'll be back. I would like to demonstrate to you how to sear your little shanks. Now, with lamb shanks, I don't normally sear them. Even though they do taste better seared, the fat really helps it do its job, so to speak, get the greatest taste out of it. But these are some deer shanks, you can see the hind ones and the front ones. Um, <clears throat> and um, since they're so lean, they don't have all the fat lamb has in, I actually go ahead and normally sear my, my, deer, uh, my deer shanks or venison shanks. So I put a little salt on them because the salt actually helps sear it in and then that salt later becomes part of the meat and doesn't actually draw the um, water out of it. Put it in. I got a pot really, really hot over here. Get it very hot. Give it two here at a time. And you're just gonna sit here for a little bit. So if you come inside, you see inside that pot. And you want to scorch them like 30 seconds or so on each side. And if the cameraman can... Uh, actually, that wasn't enough. That's not enough yet. That needs to be still much darker than that. Maybe I can fit everything in here. Yes. So we have successfully seared them all. So if you look at that, it's got a little bit of darkness on it. We'll switch that off. Since the pot is still hot, I'm going to add about a cup worth of red wine. You can add this to your lamb shanks also as well as food. Great. So now we have put some red wine in there. Some of it reduced and I just added a little bit more. You're welcome to add some broth to this. I'm just going to add this little bit of wine to this. Uh, it's already got salt on it. Now with the deer shanks, I'm just going to put 
two little pieces of uh, allspice. I'm going to put a little bit of sprinkle, a little bit of um, cumin on it, and a little bit of coriander. And a bay leaf. Oh, it's like a half one. Um, now, with um, lamb shanks, it's really nice to use, you can use some cloves too. Um, I'm not going to put cloves in this one, I already have the allspice. And then I'm going to add just a uh, little cup of, a little bit of water. Alright, great. Now that's all part of the broth. There's a little gravy in there, some red wine, all my spices. You can close the lid. So the venison shanks have come out of the oven. And if we can get a little close up on that, you'll see a little bit of fat was rendered. And it looks absolutely delicious. It's fall off the bone. I would definitely recommend taking a couple of extra steps because especially with this lean meat, it's kind of necessary. But even if you're going to make the lamb shanks, it definitely does taste, taste better if you sear it ahead of time. It just is a little bit more expensive on time. The lamb shank is all dished up. I'm serving it tonight with sprouted wheat berries cooked in the broth of the lamb shank and some seasonal root vegetables from my CSA Swallowtail Farms. And uh, we're going to enjoy that. Smoke with the Yeta. I heard you heard the salt get on the mat. That's okay. You can just leave it. If you, I, just keep it. I'll cut it out. Huh. <laughs> like, can I talk? Do, yeah, you can talk. <laughs> do I say things? <laughs> Is that the smoke alarm always going on? <laughs>